Hey everybody, it is Winner Mute coming to you from the Think Tank, and this is Japan 6.3 of Dark Horizon. So to jump right into things, we're going to go for improved construction and long-range aircraft. So improved construction, we get it. I wasn't expecting that. I honestly wasn't. And then long-range aircraft, I also get that. Um, I was a little worried that because next turn is the turn we can start researching past stage two. I was a little worried I wouldn't even be an option with the way my dice had been rolling as far as tech goes. But okay, so far this is our most successful tech turn. I will take it. I kind of needed it. So, during the production phase, just to get it out of the way, Siam aligns. So we put the roundel down. We put the, uh, we replaced the destroyer. Um, the torpedo boat destroyer that will uh, replace this guy is currently drying on my back porch. So I'll fix that when I get the chance, but that's why he's there. And then as far as builds go, so what we're gonna build is one destroyer, two militia, a cavalry, an artillery, and an infantry. And then right into movements. So we'll start off on the sea movements. Get the right spot here. So from P15, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take both these destroyers, both these transports. Uh, let's see, four, P44. Oh, right, no, what we're gonna do, I'm sorry. I had made that, I had made a decision to do something a little different last second. So we're gonna take this destroyer and this Marine, and we're gonna move him down, uh, let's see, one, two, three, and we're gonna just drop him off into Siam as he joins the, uh, Sia, now the Siam we now decided, they decided that fascism is a good thing. It's a, it's a great idea, let's give it a try. And that's, that's actually, from what I understand, pretty historically accurate, true. They decided, hey, fascism looks cool. Uh, okay. And then with what's left up in uh, P15, we are going to take these, this destroyer and the two transports that are there. And we are going to pick up these two artillery. And we're just going to move them right down to P44 and drop everything off in Palau. And then... From uh, P-50, which is going to be the Siam Siamese fleet, we're going to take this torpedo boat destroyer and the destroyer that was already there, and they're just going to come over here and join the rest of the fleet in P-44. And we'll adjust all that onto the card here in a bit. And then from P-44, we're going to have a sub go to P-37, which is over here. And then from P40, excuse me, P44 into P46, we're going to have a, the destroyer that was already there pick up a Marine, and he's just going to move over one space to P P46 and drop off a Marine in the Caroline Islands. And then he's going to just hang out there for a bit. And then these two coastal subs are actually going to slide down to... Um, P44 and then that is it for the fleet movements. Now for up here in Manchukuo, what we're going to do is we're going to take this fighter and this tack bomber from northern Manchuria, move them down to Korea. We're going to take uh, this mountain in northern Manchuria, move, rail him down to Rihi. We are going to take, uh, actually we're going to put him in, uh, well, no, actually we're going to leave him. Yeah, we're going to leave him in northern Manchuria. Then we're going to walk down these three cavalry to Rihi from northern Manchuria, as well as this motorized infantry. And then one thing I actually meant to look up. 
and I just realized I forgot to do it before I started my turn, is I have those two French sub or those two subs that were French that that have decided to uh, side with the Japanese for some reason. Now I meant to look up. I know they can go right to home waters, but I don't know whether I can split that up. So if I can split it up, I'm going to actually leave one there, and he's going to go one, two, three, and he's going to end his movement in I twelve. One, two, three. And the other one's just going to go to Japanese home waters and go to P P15. If that's not legal, which I will check after this video, and I will, I will actually add it to the end of this video, uh, I will go ahead and have them both go to P15. So um, I will, but other than that, we're going to finish the turn. So right now we'll leave them where I would like them to go, and then we'll double check here in a few minutes. Then as far as placing units goes, we're gonna have the destroyer up here in P15. We're gonna have these two militia. One's gonna go into Annam Tonkin and the other one's gonna go into Cochin, China. We are gonna have an artillery. Oh, you know what, I'm sorry. I did forget one non-combat move. And I wanted to non-combat a transport from uh, P44, Palau, up to P15 to join these guys up here. And then I'm going to place this cavalry in Rihi, and then I'm going to build this infantry and artillery in Kyushu. And that is it for placing units. Uh, as far as collecting income, so I'm up to 19 now. I'm still getting the full three dollars from the United States oil lease or oil trade. Uh, so I'm going to collect a total of 22. So I'll have 22 on hand next turn to spend. So as of right, so for right now, this is uh, when I'm signing off from the think tank.